Okay, it's April 11th, 2014, and this is a review of the Treasuries markets uh, today. And you can see here it's uh, 8:29. I'm gonna um, just go ahead and move this forward. There was news that came out at 8:30. Uh, I think it was a PPI announcement, and you can just kind of see the news kind of affect it. You can see the uh, the drop in liquidity uh, right before. You see a little bit of movement here. See some jumping around a bit, but not really much effect of of this particular news it kind of brought it brought it down pretty hard today overall though was a trading range day and which is probably the worst day for me because i don't like to trade fades and it was a fade it was a fade day all day um i did trade one fade and uh i got sh shaken out um a little bit nervous by it but just important to see some of the action that happens here you can see that we've got some pretty good volume here um absorption here at 25 and then it, it, it was hitting back here at 25 and a half and now it's kind of coming down here so you can see the bull start to enter here you can see the uh um you know kind of they're they're hitting back in the bears were still kind of active i thought about coming in right around here i was kind of thinking this 24 and a half might hold there's a step here i wanted to get in right here i thought maybe it would come and just tick down one more time and uh, and take me in at 24 and a half and it didn't it, it pretty much turned and, and took off after that point so um, missed that fade opportunity um, because I wasn't willing to come up here at 25 um, which of course in hindsight that would have been uh, a really good trade and opportunity there but I didn't take that um, so price is kind of bouncing around here back and forth and just kind of speed this up a little bit here it uh, comes up here into the upper part of the range and you can see let me get here to a spot I clear the uh, the prices you can see here price was kind of pushing up here came right up here to this 28 level um, couldn't get past it and then again drop back down so a good another good fade coming off the top you can see the big volume coming in and the bulls just kind of dried up uh, the active bulls dried up and so it comes down here and of course you expect it to come down here to the 25 24 and a half really the 25 level um, possibly the 24 and a half and uh, it does hit 24 and a half and it actually hits down here in 24 but you see the bulls start to come back in again so they strengthen here in the book and they hit back in here at 597 and again, they come down here again. Probably a good opportunity to hit here in 24 and a half. Which you can see I was thinking about it in the live session. And uh, I didn't take it. I should have. <laughs> Actually, I did take it. No, this is the one I did take. And what happened is I got shaken out because it kind of extended this range a little bit. You can see it kind of came down here a couple ticks against me and that made me really nervous so I saw this big volume here <clears throat> and at first I thought well let me see if I can get out at a one tick loss and when it just kind of stopped hitting into here and the bull started hitting back uh, I moved it back up to break even I saw the 1600 print right here and I thought well maybe I'll have a chance to get out of break even and sure enough um, not only did I get out of break even but then it kind of took off after that you can see 1420 print in here and then it just kind of takes off so um, no regrets there getting out of break even um, didn't know if it was just going to keep going here the step didn't hold it was probably trapping a bunch of people me included and um, you know I, was, I don't have any regrets for getting out there and I'm just going to move ahead because you know still we, we're kind of in the middle of the range here kind of bounces around um, and again comes back down here several times back here to this 24 and a half 25 level and just bounces around down here you know you can see this was from the prior volume it comes down here to 24 and a half taps it again and bulls come back in here again you can see the strength meter down here bears are trying to push this down And you can see the bulls just keep coming in and they're going to take this back up <clears throat> and I think this is where 
<clears throat> when you really do recognize that you're in a in a range, you know, this is where it, it could be kind of cool trading because you you could you could take this at the bottom of the range and you can hold it really expecting it to go back to the top of the range and and collect quite a few, you know, ticks off of it if you wanted to, if you you know, you kind of had the ability to kind of hold that, but you can see I'm just kind of taking it through. You can see at least it gets up to this control point. Now it's kind of up a little bit further. So again, this range 24 and a half and you've got one two three four five ticks right up here already um, granted you had to sit through and, and hold it for a while but it's almost like clockwork for you know people who are accustomed to trading ranges and, and fading so here we are at the top uh, of this range we hit 2500 contracts in at 27 and a half the bulls are still trying to press this up right here and you can kind of see that um, they're really attempting to kind of break this out. The bears are still pretty active, both in the book and um, actively selling. And you see just a lot of volume, 3,300 before, now for, it's up to 4,500. I mean, that's almost 7,000 contracts between these two areas. And then there were more that we didn't even see, 8,000, that just aren't going anywhere, just being completely absorbed on the bear side. And now the bears start to hit back in here at this 27.5 level. So maybe a good opportunity to get in here at 27 and a half. Maybe you can try to sneak a tick, sneak an extra tick in here at 28. Yeah, sure enough, there it goes. The bull's still really active trying to push this up, and then the bears come right in here. You can see the fight happening. You know, they strengthen the book, and then boom, 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 just completely dropped it down that fast. So again, another great fade trade at the top of the range. And um, coming coming back here to this point again. So we're back down here again to the bottom of the range, of course. And notice, I, like I'm not even looking over here at these uh, the ZB and the ZN, but they're kind of following along here too. You know, you can kind of see what's happening, and um, you know, have to you have to go back and take a look at the synchronicity between the two or the three contracts. But you know, it looks like when the bulls are hitting in. They're hitting in across the board, and no, no different here. Kind of came down here that twenty-four and a half, and then turned and, and bounced. What's really funny is, you know, it's kind of the classic Murphy's law: is that the one trade I took <laughs> that was a fay trade, it, it extended down uh, two two ticks, and you can see it hasn't been touched since then. So all the other trades came down right here to this point at twenty-four and a half and turned. And except for the one that I took, <laughs> that shook me out. So just Murphy's law in trading uh, it just happens. Um, okay, so we're back up here. We came back up here to the top of the range. You know, we have the bulls that were pressing. Um, bears came back in, knocked it back down. So one of the things that I was seeing here is I seen you know the bears knocked it down, but they only got right down here close to the control points. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if there's an opportunity to uh, look for a breakout trade here. I was kind of watching that, keeping a close eye, but of course it, it didn't really happen. Um, see the bears still have control pushing this down. Um, going to fast forward here again. So um, thickening up right around the control point. But you can see here again, you know, price coming down here, 24. And it actually did kind of finally extend to that 24 where I got trapped before. But you had 2,200 contracts there. And um, it looks like the bears are going to press down, kind of extend that range a little bit. And this is where people get caught and stuck. And uh, sure enough, they bring it down all the way to 23, 22 and a half. But eventually they turn it back around. And I thought that was a failed breakout. So when I was looking at that as a failed breakout, I was kind of coming back here to the price action and, and, and looking at this and saying, okay, well, if that was a failed breakout on that side, maybe it'll try, attempt a breakout over here on this side. So um, it played around with these control points. Actually, I'm going to bring it back here a little bit so we can kind of see the setup. So I'm looking at these control points here, and I'm looking at these good volumes coming through here, 2,000 and 1,000. And so I decided to go ahead and take a trade here, I think at 27. and uh, taps me in and so I was thinking that that's actually not bad tap me in but then I had these 1800 contracts right here 
and um, it came against me a tick. I'm kind of deciding, do I want to get out? Do I, you know, I, I'm not really not liking this. I'm not liking the back and forth here in the book. I'm not liking the fact that the bears are pretty strong. Um, they come back, and you can see they kind of came back a couple times, and then finally, when the when the bulls really couldn't press it, um, that that second after that second time, I decided to just get out of break even. So I'm out of break even, and actually that was that was the right choice because if you'll you'll watch here, we, again we come back right up here to the top, and then it turns right back down. So no attempt by the bulls here to um, to break out yet. And again, you get to see, you know, another, again, 28. It's like 24 and a half and 28 were the magic numbers today. And it, the price just seemed to bounce right around between those two, uh, those two prices. And uh, again, you know, come back down here again, 24 and a half, 25, and then turn and um, here we go, 24 and a half. It's extending a little bit further, but just a, a range day. You know, very difficult to trade if you are um, like me and you're a uh, more of a kind of a momentum breakout type trader. And um, so for me, it was a very difficult day for some people. I think some people who are good with trading and, and accustomed to ranges probably made a killing today.